Malini, uh, maybe we can start. Uh, give us a little bit background about yourself, uh, a little short history and a short history on TCEB. Mm -hmm. Okay, a short history uh, about myself uh, is that I have been in the in industry for uh, more than 20 years, okay, mm -hmm. uh, mostly uh, uh, I started my career from, from uh, the airline industry and then I moved to the hotel and then I moved again to the convention and now I'm with the convention bureau. Okay, so that's overall about myself. Then talking about uh, Thailand Convention Exhibition Bureau, I have been with this bureau since the beginning of the bureau when they first set up in year 2004. So uh, talking about today, it has been about five years that I have been with the bureau. Mm -hmm. How did how did uh, Thailand do for the year two zero zero nine? Right, um, it's a very unique tough <laughs> for Thailand. Uh, what did we do? Um, as the government agency, uh, we have to monitor the situation and then we have to cook our plan every day so that uh, we can catch up with any other change that happening uh, in year 2009. I would say that 2009 has been very challenging year and uh, many of the private sector, uh, I would say that 20% of them uh, have been uh, assisted by TCEP in order to secure their business. Um, we have been working closely with the private sector by, you know, uh, uh, listening to their suffer, uh, analyzing the problem with them, and see how we can come up with the solutions. For example, when we are doing our plan in year 2010, we, we, we work with them. We see uh, in what market that we can look at it as a, uh, a quick return uh, for our investment. For example, when we are talking about a short haul market, then uh, we know that um, we have been very successful in India, but still we have to look for any other replacement. For example, um, the market in the Philippines, in Indonesia, this is uh, um, the new market that we are working, uh, uh, working at. And uh, we also working closely with the uh, other national tourism organization uh, like uh, Tourism Authority of Thailand. Uh, of course, we work with Thai Airways. However, we we also open to any other uh, international airlines where we can work with them for any joint promotion. So this is what we have been through. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, thank you for that. Um, I heard during your press conference just now that you mentioned China is a very difficult market. Why is that so? Well, because China is huge, mm -hmm. <laughs> first of all, and every everyone is... Uh, uh, looking at them as the source market, the competition is very high. Um, since um, due to the uh, global um, uh, economic crisis, uh, I'm sure that um, it affects every country, uh, including China. So China start to fasten their seat belt for any uh, spending. So this is the way that uh, we find it's very difficult to, to, to get um, the business uh, out of China, especially uh, when China turned back to use their uh, domestic uh, travel policy. And the government has announced uh, or even stopped the corporate travel out of the country uh, so that they can you know, have their choice in, in their own country. So this is what I mean by uh, being a very difficult market. So we are waiting that um, the uh, corporate from China will be looking at uh, Thailand again for um, future uh, alternatives uh, comparing to their domestic uh, uh, travel. I didn't hear you mention Taiwan at all. What about Taiwan? Uh, Taiwan is still very, uh, very important, of course, uh, to Thailand. Uh, but so far for Taiwan, we uh, we have uh, received quite a good number of, of business from from Taiwan as well. So that's why I am not talking at uh, I'm, th I'm not talking about Taiwan as a difficult market. But I would say that they are the good friends of Thailand. <laughs> yes, uh, many years ago, I, I remembered at the 
Sheraton Phuket, mm. director of marketing, said to me, um, you know, when the Taiwanese knocked on his door, first he wanted to chase them away and gave them a very high rate. Oh. And to his surprise, they took it, you know, because the incentive market is huge in Taiwan. Mm. Yes, yes, definitely. That's why I said uh, we have received quite a good number of uh, Taiwanese incentive groups coming to Thailand. And even some of them, they, they don't need uh, the support from, from, uh, from us. They still uh, come to Thailand. So mm. they, they are our promising uh, market. Mm. What about long haul? Long haul, this is uh, a challenge when we are talking about um, the um, cut cost uh, policy for any corporate travel from, from uh, uh, Europe or America. Uh, these people will take quite some time to, to think about um, where to go. Okay, for, any, for, for the challenge that we have in year 2009, uh, this has uh, made them uh, re rethink about uh, Thailand. Uh, but I would say that um, I believe that we still have a very good potential in those uh, European uh, market, for example, the market from uh, Norway, from uh, Scandinavian, uh, which uh, the Thai Airways just opened the flight uh, direct to Oslo and has been uh, proved very successful. Mm -hmm. So, uh, well, they will need quite some time to think about it, but definitely they will come back to Thailand. Okay. okay um, so. When I travel and I go to China, I go to other countries sometimes, I hear them talking about there's going to be a change of government in next month, the red shirts and all that. How do you cope with this uh, constant rumor that you have? Rumor is a rumor. <laughs> That's our principle. Rumor is a rumor, okay? And, um, well, for Thai people, we still believe that uh, we are very peaceful uh, uh, citizen of the world and um, one thing that um, that would be good for for any visitor is that Thai people uh, are very having very high resilience to any pressure that they are having so uh, if they choose to come to Thailand think about Thailand in a bigger feature uh, bigger picture okay if uh, they want to come to Bangkok and then um, they might have any others uh, uh, second choice to go to any other city. So Thailand offer more as usual, so don't worry. Yeah, the last word that I would like to share is that, well, uh, as a Thai citizen, I still believe that Thai, Thailand is the best place to come. So nowhere else can offer more for the business events. So please do come to Thailand. Thank you. Thank you.